This is going to be a memory keeping plan with me for the week of September 26th through October 2nd. I'm using this kit from Sugar Pop Fizz. It is called Rainy Autumn Day. I am pulling in some freebies from Sugar Pop Fizz, OK Plans, and then the foil I just showed you is foil headered overlays from a shop that used to be well she was my friend but she also had a shop the shop was planner love sp i don't believe that's a shop anymore and then i also pulled in which i didn't show because i thought about it afterwards these like copper foiled box overlays from rose colored days that another friend gave me and then i realized I have rose color so basically I use like it's like orange I don't even know if it's copper it's like orange foiled orange foiled full box overlays and then the header overlays are rose gold so I did like a orange and rose gold foil for this kit now I will say I didn't have any other orange icons so everything else that I ended up using when I thought about it and looked through my stash is all rose gold foiled so i did use some foiled icons because i thought i have it i should use it so yes um then another note to note in this plan with me i am sorry if you can hear my fan but it is hot and i try to do it without the fan on but i simply cannot so i am sorry if you can hear it Hopefully, like, the filter in the um, voiceover thing that I use app will drown it out a little bit and just focus on me talking. But if it doesn't, I sincerely apologize. So this week was rough again. Like, I thought, you know, this school year was going to get better, blah, blah, blah. Like, yes, it's gotten better, but then there's things about it that I feel like we're just back where I was a year ago, um, and I wasn't filming a year ago. So, a year ago, pretty much, well, it happened actually in October, but our principal at the time a year ago quit after having COVID. So, um, she was out for like a month with COVID um, and it was really bad. So she was really sick. And trust me, I feel super bad that she was super sick. You know, we sent her food and all that stuff because she, she was in and out of the hospital a little bit, um, having trouble breathing. And but she was out for a month and uh, she was running out of anyways. Needless to say when she was supposed to come back she came back one day and then decided to quit so she didn't want to be a principal anymore um which i understand being a principal wouldn't be for me either i mean even a teacher i couldn't do it um that's why i do it, the business office at a school but um yeah so we're like it's like full circle because this week now that it's official i think i put it in my planner we found out that my um, the assistant principal at our new school, which was going to help us relieve. So basically, we have to soak up everything um, for my executive director because she's going to be retiring in like two years. So uh, he was supposed to shadow her. I'm shadowing her. And now our assistant principal that we like hired in July quit this week and went back to teaching. And then our... Um, HR lady decided to retire so it has been fun so you'll see how that has caused me some extra work next week or the week that I'm physically in because I can tell you right now I am exhausted okay so all the full boxes in this kit were so pretty this is one of those spreads that I kind of wish I had like box extenders I can't get into the box extenders because I don't have enough to put in the under part of it so I just don't do them but uh yeah I love how I did the sidebar I love how I like brought in some of the freebie stuff you'll see those like overlay pretty florally pumpkin stuff from sugar pop fizz are in the scene right now in the scene in my video right now um yeah it just came out so pretty so besides that you know that was the bad part of the week but the good part of the week is that 
we had a three day work week this week um, for myself and my kids. I actually had Thursday and Friday off. I don't normally have teacher work days off with them, but it just happened to be in my schedule. So I had Thursday and Friday off. So we went to Universal Studios on Thursday, which I am surprised we made it, but we did. Um, I'll talk a little bit about it more when we get there. I absolutely loved the um, theme park. I love the rides, but I definitely have gotten to a place where I've decided that I am just too old to be going to theme park. So I know that sounds silly, but I just am not a person who likes to stand in line and wait for rides. Thankfully, the longest ride was the Simpsons ride. So all right, so we're already going into the plan. So starting off with Monday, I am marking work with these planner Pixie Co little calculators. Um, again, I only worked Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so I will mark that first every day. Then with a Starbucks cup, I mean a little star, yeah, I mean it looks like a Starbucks cup, I guess, from Fox and Pip. This was like a freebie that she released in her like Facebook group, which I don't do Facebook anymore, a long time ago. And they, when I used to have a shop, I like shrank them down and made them icons. And so I have a couple sheets, I think, of them. So I'm so glad I still have those. So that's, we had Starbucks that day or I did, whatever, um, and then I mark with a scribble, no, with a Carly Plans sheet and a Tilly Plans Happy Mail script is that I got my scribble print mystery, then with a tiny little tulip, like, girl with a fan with, like, sweat dripping is that it was 102 on Monday, we're going down, we're getting there now, but, oh my god, it was a hot week, all right, moving on to Tuesday. Uh, after I mark work, the second thing that I mark with a Scribble Prince Co. Um, Taco Bell icon. And then you see that I also mark with a Scribble Prince Co. Scribble Prince Co. in and out icon is that we had Taco Bell in and out. I didn't have both. I had Taco Bell. My kids and my husband had in and out. I like in and out. It's just not my favorite. I kind of have to be in a mood for it. Um... I don't really know why. Like, their hamburgers are, like, whatever. It's th Their shake's really good, but last time I had the shake, it was way too much for me, and I felt like crap the whole rest of the night. So, I have to, like, be careful what I eat there. Um, then I mark with a tiny little tulip girl, like, relaxing, is that I started Westworld this day, which I like, but I'm not very far into it. I feel like the episodes are super long, and I have to really watch when I'm watching it because my kids come into my room and obviously there's a lot of inappropriate stuff in that show. Then I wa I marked with a girl from Tilly B Plans is that um it's kind of sad my girls made me a little upset because they won't give me credit for stuff. It's kind of weird. They like see their they have their dad up on a pedestal and it made me sad. So, I put that. Um, then I mark with a, um, Carly Plans pillow and a Carly Plans bed early is that I went to bed early that day. I believe I went to bed early a lot of these days, but I just marked it on Tuesday. Then moving on to Wednesday. Um, okay. Things are kind of out of place. Okay. So the first thing that I mark with um, the Carly Plans finger and Inspire Ever After script is that this was the day that I found out that basically the two employees had quit. So basically our AP, our assistant principal at the other campus and our HR lady quit or she retired. She, um, yeah. Then I marked with a... Carly Plans, like, fast food type bag is that we got chilies. Um, then on the second half of the day with a paper shire, which is funny because I didn't mark that it was paper shire, but I know it's paper shire. Little, like, ATM icon is that I ran to the bank and post office for work this day. I did a couple errands. It was like I went to the bank, came back, went and got myself lunch, came back, and then I went to the post office because it was... I had forgot that I needed to go to the post office, but I had to do it that day. And then I realized that the document I was waiting for was something to do with our assistant principal. And so it was like, no point. And I didn't realize that until I like 
sat down, opened the, all the mail, and then I was, like, frustrated because I had spent all day, I mean, I ran to the post office, literally, like, before I got off work, and I didn't end up needing to go to the post office and waste my time doing that, so, <sighs> breathe. Anyways, <laughs> Then the last thing that I mark on Wednesday with this redhead stickers, redhead sticker, um, like with a movie icon thingy, it's just that I watched TV that day. All right. So moving on to Thursday, the first thing that I mark with a PD day, because it was technically a professional development day, um... And I don't know who that's from. Shoot. Sorry. I didn't mark that. It was basically we didn't have school or work this day. Then with an F that from Cupcakes and Stickies is that I had crappy coffee. We went and we got McDonald's um, on our way to um, Universal Studios. And my coffee, I just didn't get enough creamer. And so I only got two and I probably needed three. And so it was nasty and I love to have a good cup of coffee in the morning. So I feel like it kind of like sets the day. Then I marked with a Carly Plans um, car is that there was crappy traffic to and from Universal Studios. And then I had to hear like, everybody complain and I mean everybody my husband and my daughter because it was just me my husband and my um nine-year-old who went we left my little one behind because she was just a little too little to really enjoy it and I will just say right now like it is not cheap to go to Universal Studios so yeah I wasn't gonna spend the hundred dollars a ticket to go and she couldn't go on get on anything um so yeah um and then I mark with a Scribble Prince Co I think this is like something that has to do with you no oh my gosh what is that place called Disney World but to be honest like I don't really care to go to Disney World so I just use this off a sampler and I think it works um because it kind of reminds me of like the globe that spins around in front of Universal Studios so that's what I used because I didn't know what else. I didn't even have like a roller coaster or anything. So, yep, that's what I marked. And then the last thing that I marked on, I don't know why I used this icon. It's a Carly Plans. Like, I don't know what this thing is. It says play. Maybe it's like an audiobook. I have no idea what this little icon is. I just decided to use it because it was on a sampler and I was like, why not? But basically, I'm <laughs> marking my favorite ride um, for... Universal Studios was uh, the studio tour. I really, really enjoyed that. It had been updated so much since the last time I went. Um, and it was really, really cool. So I really did have a good time. It's just there were things about it that I was just like, yep, this is why I'm like, nope. Um, one of the things that was a little bit disappointing was that because they were having Halloween Horror Nights at 7 o'clock, they closed at six o'clock so it was only open from 10 to 6 and then um all the rides stopped at four th no at 5 30 so basically the park closed at 5 30 because after that what were you gonna do for 30 minutes like just look around i don't know so yeah it was kind of pointless and i was a little upset about that all right whatever moving on to Friday. So the first thing that I mark on Friday with this paper shire icon is that my kids score, con we call them score conferences. Um, so they're basically conferences to find out where your kids are scoring and where they need, what their individual, individualized goals are for the year. Um, so I did both of the girls um, Friday morning. Then I mark with a Scribble Prince Co. Taco Bell icon that we had Taco Bell for lunch. Then I marked with this Sarah Elizabeth Prince um, cauldron 
I feel like I'm saying that funny, cauldron, cauldron, um, is that I watched Hocus Pocus because I want to watch the first Hocus Pocus before I watch the second Hocus Pocus, which plans originally were to watch it on Sunday. I wanted to wait till official October before I watched it, but um, I wanted to watch it with my siblings, and Friday was the day that my brother had off, so we watched it together on Friday. So moving on to the second half of the day, by the way, the gold rose gold boxes that I'm putting down are from Scribble Prince Co. that I got in like a freebie. I don't know, could have been a long time ago, could have been recently. I have no idea. So the first thing that I mark with a Nicole Alexia Designs like popcorn icon, it's so cute, um, is that we had dipped Oreos and we made dipped Oreos. Um and popcorn so we got some treats together before we watched hocus pocus 2 which is what i marked with that tiny little tulip um witch hat then moving on to saturday the first thing that i mark is 30 days until halloween and that countdown is from sugar pop fizz then i mark with a sarah elizabeth prince sleep in is that i slept in this day um and then i mark with a tassel planner icon and a clean script is that I clean and then I mark with a tiny little tulip um like rest in peace thing um icon I don't know whatever it's these are like a Halloween sheet icon so I'm probably gonna mark as many movies as I can with these little icons because there's a ton on the paper and I just think it's cute to mark um Halloween movies that I watch throughout the month so I'm going to be watching a ton of them um, with these icons. So I watched Beetlejuice that day, which is funny because I started watching it. And my older daughter, my nine-year-old, I was like, this is going to get really scary. Like, are you sure you're going to want to watch this with me? And she said, yes, yes. We get to like the first scary scene, which is where they're in the closet and the lady takes off her face. And my daughter was like, yep, nope, not watching this. And she walked out of the room. So I basically watched the whole thing by myself. But as an adult, it's not as scary as when you're a child, because like I kind of know all the scenes are coming up. Anyways, marking with a McDonald's bag from Scribble Prince Co. is that we had McDonald's this night. And then the last thing that I marked um, with a Fox and Pip and Fox and Pip icon and a Carly Plans uh, script is that I watched some YouTube that night. Then moving on to Sunday, first thing I marked was 29 days to, hol- to Halloween. I almost said to holiday. Um, I may move those around in the next one. I don't know exactly. Like, I don't like putting in the bottom washi. So if I don't have enough room, I might skip them a couple days. I don't know. We'll see moving forward. But um, I have the space. I made it work this time. So then after that, I mark with a both of these. It's an icon from Carly Plans and a script from Carly Plans is that I slept like crap this morning. I believe I woke up at like three in the morning yeah I went to bed at like 10 went woke up at like three in the morning and then I thought I was getting sick because I kept getting chills like I'd get chills and I'm like okay I'm gonna throw up like I already know it but I never was really nauseous it was just it was weird I was hot and then I was cold and then I was hot and then I was cold and then I was like, okay, I'm going to get sick. But, like, nothing else felt wrong with me. And I just couldn't fall asleep. So I finally gave up and just started watching TV at, like, 6 o'clock. Because I, like, toss and turn, toss and turn. And at 6 o'clock, I was up for the rest of the day. I don't think I ever went back to sleep. So, yeah. Which wasn't fun because then I had really long days on Monday and Tuesday. So, yeah. All right. Then I mark with a creative cavern studio which i don't believe is a shop anymore um a tissue icon is that my daughter my um five-year-old mysteriously had a fever this day it was the weirdest thing she said she didn't nothing hurt on her um like it was just weird she just had like a slight fever all day and then in the afternoon she got an actual fever so she couldn't go to school on monday but nothing like even to today today's wednesday that i'm doing this voiceover nothing i mean she's been off but there's no like I mean, like, she'd have moments of, like, jumping around and having fun, and then she'd have moments of, um, like, she'd just lay on the couch and, like, look sick, but, like, no coughing, no sore throat, no, um, pain anywhere, no earaches, nothing, like, so I don't know, she's, like, teething, which is kind of weird to me, but it's the only thing I can think of. 
Um, so I will, hopefully this is it. Like, hopefully she's past it, but she's really grumpy today too. So we'll see. All right. And now my husband's sick. So, but he has like a cold, cold. Um, all right. Moving on. After that, I mark with a Cricut Paper Co. Like Monopoly board. Is that, oh, this is fun. We played this game called Hunt a Killer Dead Below Deck, which is kind of fun. It's kind of like a um, escape room, but at home. So it was really fun. We solved it correctly. So we, I was super excited about that. And my siblings play these games. So I have, they have a ton more that I can play. So I'm excited to do it like even on my own. Um, then I mark with a tassel planner icon and a Carly plan script is that I bunch a bunch of TV today that day, like HBO Max, Netflix, YouTube, just too much. I couldn't mark it all with just like one script. And then the last thing that I mark is that I watched a Lifetime movie, but I don't remember off the top of my head what it was, but that's what I marked. So I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.